2014 Ford Escape is the best SUV for you if you're willing to give up a little interior space for some terrific road manners. You'll also need to acquire a taste for some ambitious styling inside and out, and be patient with Ford's idea of cutting-edge connectivity. The rewards include a European-grade driving experience and some pretty clever conveniences like this lift gate that opens with a wave of your foot. I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2014 Ford Escape. This is the sophomore season for an SUV that underwent a big change for the better last year. Ford shelved a primitive 10-year-old design and replaced it with a modern crossover based on one it sells in Europe. Americans responded by making the snazzy new Escape the country's top-selling compact SUV, a title it's since relinquished to the more sensible shoes Honda CRV. The 2014 Escape styling is unaltered, so the body remains a mini riot of creases, curves, and vents, and Ford drops the SEL trim level, leaving the base S, midline SE, and this, the top of the line titanium. All versions of the Escape now have a rear view camera, plus a front passenger seat that's height adjustable. And that hands-free lift gate becomes available with the trailering package, so you can open it with your toe and tow 3,500 pounds. There's plenty of space in front on supportive buckets. The rear seat backs recline, but roominess is a sore spot, with knee clearance at a premium if the front seats are more than halfway back. Look to the Honda CRV or Toyota RAV4 if your compact crossover plans include grown-ups or even teenagers back there. A number of rivals have more cargo capacity too, though Escape's 34 cubic feet behind the rear seat and 68 with it folded easily handles most needs. Most compact crossovers offer one engine, two at most. Escape offers three. All are four cylinders and two are turbocharged. The S model has a gruff 168 horsepower 2.5 liter and is front wheel drive only. SE and Titanium come with a turbocharged 1.6 liter from Ford's EcoBoost engine family. Its 178 horsepower is on par with competitors' base engines, but its 184 pound-feet of torque is more than most. A 2-liter EcoBoost is a $1,200 option for the SE and Titanium. With 240 horsepower and a robust 270 pound-feet of torque, it's among the most powerful engines in this class. All-wheel drive is a $1,750 option for the SE and Titanium models. Every iteration of the Escape rates between 24 and 26 miles per gallon city highway combined. That's about the class median, but impressive given the EcoBoost engine's performance. Incidentally, the only engine for which Ford recommends premium octane gas is the 2-liter EcoBoost. The 1.6-liter turbo's low RPM torque makes it ideal for most buyers, while 2-liter escapes are among the quickest crossovers under $40,000. A 6-speed automatic is the only transmission. It's responsive, but this sporty crossover deserves steering wheel paddle shifters rather than this awkward little button on the gear lever. Escape's Euro roots are evident in spirited road manners. EcoBoost versions suffer a trace of turbo lag off the line, and getting all their performance to the pavement is best accomplished with all-wheel drive. Ford's system is a good one. It analyzes road conditions and driver inputs, such as steering wheel angle, then adds or subtracts torque to help handling. Ride quality isn't great with the 18-inch wheels, standard on the Titanium and optional on the SE. It's harsh with the Titanium's optional 19s, and wind and road noise are not always well muffled. Just as the exterior styling seems a little forced, so can Escape's dashboard design. Still, most controls are where you expect them, and materials quality is at the top of the competitive set. And every Escape comes with a pretty effective version of Ford's basic sync system. It's got a 4.2-inch dashboard screen, another in the instrument cluster to display audio, phone, and trip data. Complications begin when you add My Ford Touch, which is standard on the Titanium and a $1,340 option on the SE model. Developed with Microsoft, the intent is to streamline control of climate and infotainment functions, as well as navigation, for which Ford charges an additional $750. Escape's My Ford Touch has an 8-inch display and responds to voice commands, touchscreen prompts, and these steering wheel buttons. 
but voice commands too often get lost in translation. The steering wheel buttons are cryptic, and using the touch screen kind of defeats the purpose. Ford is working to simplify the system, even adding conventional buttons to some versions, but it remains frustrating enough to get some of the blame for Ford's recent drop in owner satisfaction ratings. One technology that works as advertised is Active Park Assist. Included in a $1,735 option exclusive to the Titanium model, it detects a suitable parallel parking space and automatically steers the Escape into it. You control only the gas and brake. A strange sensation, but actually pretty cool. Maybe it's that EcoBoost Premium or the high-grade interior materials, but the volume-selling escapes are a bit pricier than direct rivals. SEs account for 50% of sales and start just under $26,500. 40% of buyers go for the Titanium, which begins just under $30,000. Titaniums come with leather upholstery and are the only escapes with a hands-free liftgate. Add all-wheel drive, the 2-liter, active park assist, and you're at $35,500. You can score a good mid-size crossover for that money. The better value is an all-wheel drive 1.6 liter SE for $28.2. Sync already includes Bluetooth, so the SE buyer must decide whether to shell out an additional $2,100 for navigation and get my Ford Touch in the bargain. Overall, the Escape is a success. A great example of Ford's commitment to bringing European design and dynamics to its American audience. If you can live with the tight rear seat and make peace with my Ford Touch, it deserves a place on your shopping list. For more on cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com.